Hello, Visanti here. So this video, we're gonna go over hidden ability Ditto, which is an imposter. It allows you to transform once at the start of the battle. And uh, I guess we can talk about the IVs and stuff too, uh, down the video. <laughs> All right, so there's two ways to do this. Both of them are post game. The first one is go to the battle area, get 200 battle points, which in my opinion is quite a long time and quite a bit of battles. And you get the ability patch where you can give to any Pokemon and get the hidden ability. Second way is to get the Poke Radar, which you can get after you completed your Sinnoh decks by seeing, not catching, just seeing all the Pokemon there. Um, I'm gonna put end of the video where there's maybe like some where you may miss like the other legendary and Drifloom. And also, I guess I'll show you where to get the counter at the end because that'll be helpful just to know, just, just know how much you're on for the chain. And yeah, so bring a lot of Max Repels and you want to start chain catching them because the more you encounter, the more you can get a chance to get hidden ability. Because the chance of getting a hidden ability is one out of 128. It doesn't increase with every chain, but you'd rather see more of this this Pokemon than another Pokemon, right? All right. So Dill's location is on Route 218. What you want to do is go to Kana Lave City. You fly there. And you technically want to buy a lot of Quick Balls and Ultra Balls. Uh, unless you have a False Swipe character, that would be help a lot. But I just straight up just threw the ball right off the bat because I'm too high level compared to the level 29 Dittos. So you're going to go down here. Uh, make sure to bring a lot of Max Repels as well. Because we're going to be chaining using the Poke Radar. There's a lot of bi big patch of brass over here. So this is where you want to do. All right, you're gonna go in, go to the furthest one as possible, okay? Always go to aim the furthest one. You have your Pythagorean Theorem Brain, and there's the Ditto, right there and then. Who knows if it has Imposter? You don't need to bring a Trace Pokemon, because if it's Imposter, it'll automatically transform to your Pokemon. Of course, the uh, regular default is Limber. Um, so you will either destroy it or catch it, but you wanna actually catch it. How you say it? You only wanna catch it, oh shoot. <laughs> Uh, this is my low level Pokemon. I forgot to bring the higher level Pokemon. Let's just swap it here. So I usually want to get to chain 10. So once you get to chain 10, they have better IVs from like 11 to 19. And then 21, 29 have better, even better IVs. And then so on and so on, every 10-ish. So I would suggest you just do that. Um, and catch after 10. So at least you have like, I pretty much guarantee you one IV that's perfect or best. And then 20 will be two IVs, etc. I believe. So you just you kill it. I don't use don't catch it like the first 10, and then I just start chaining here. So hopefully, oh, it's, I have I, my Garnivore is evolving. Yep. Lucky me. So yeah, after this, uh, usually the grass will shake. Of course, if it's not the Pokemon that you want, like it's not a Ditto, you would just run away, and then you would run around and reset your. Poke Radar, about 50 steps to recharge. And then you just do it again. Um, it's better to start in the corner, because then... Dazzling Gleam, okay. That's a lot better than Draining Kiss. <laughs> and it's AoE. Because you always want to go further away. Oh, the chain is broken, unfortunately, right? And then you have to reset. 12 more steps. Go do the first one again. You keep repeating this until you see the ditto again. And then you... You know what? I'll, I'll show this off again. I'll just fight it. I'm a Garnivore this time. <laughs> I forgot to swap Mons to put a stronger Mon on top. But that is fine. But yeah, I do stream on Twitch. So feel free to come, come along and do more uh, hidden ability hunts. Until like a new game drops or something. <laughs> uh, my plan is to get all the hidden abilities that's in the Sinnoh region here. And maybe even more. Who knows. Oh what? I didn't destroy it. <laughs> Alright. Actually I might aim for all the Pokemon that's in the national decks that I have here. 
It may be a long trail, but maybe we'll feed some shinies on the way. Like I found my shiny rope looking for it. Damn, my chain's broken again? Okay. What's well, the chance that your chain will be broken and you gotta do it again? But yeah, it spawns about 20% of the time. But yeah, I'll just show you the video of where, you know, I found H.A. Ditto on accident. <laughs> but it doesn't count 10. That'd be like 11, 11 to 19, it'll be good IVs, and then uh, from 21 to 30. <laughs> oh, it's hidden ability! Yo, I got hidden ability Ditto. <laughs> Done. Catching this. Well, I don't know if I can thunder wave it. I think I'm just gonna throw a ball. <laughs> Yo, this is a lot faster than uh, Ralts. <laughs> Yo, I killed over like. I felt like I killed over 100, like 200 Ralts. And I. But yeah, thanks for watching. And of course, it's gonna take a long process. If you want, you can come by Twitch. I have a Twitch redemption. I believe if you follow, you have enough just to redeem it. You can have me breed you one of the ones I already have. So feel free to come by Twitch. Social is down below. And I'll show you the clips now on the other random tips to like complete your decks and maybe help out. Just informational stuff. Later days. And one of the ones that you will probably need is the other legendary that you didn't catch or see in the story. And in order to do that, you will go to Celeste Town, right? Uh, and then you go into the back here, in this cave, there's a house. And there's the old lady that can talk talk to you about the legendary Pokemon right there. And now you have seen it. You got it in your decks. So what you need to do is go to a Friday, right? So what you can do is go to your actual system. <laughs> I'm gonna do some time hacks here. System change, date time. Let's see, Friday was what, two days ago? It's Sunday right now. Sure. And then you wanna enter a house and, and exit. Then I'll respawn the Drift Loom at Floroma Town. That's where you wanna go. So if you guys not sure where that is, it's right here. Go right to, and apparently you should see it around here. Oh, there it is. There we go. Good luck. <laughs> All right, to get the counter, you would just fly to Sand Gem Town, and then you're gonna end up surfing down here and get to the park right down here, right? So this is the area where you want to go to. Just a building at the end. I'll fly to show you where the what the building looks like at least. Okay. Right, so this is what the building looks like. You're gonna make your way from here. You go in, talk to Professor Oak. You get the, the, the counter. And then that's the counter that you see right here on the top right. It'll tell you the top three and it'll tell you the current one that you have available if you got one. 